to walk back. No, what's your name? You need to walk back. What's My name's name? Detective Gilligan. You don't get to sneak up on a cop like that. I didn't sneak up on anybody. You absolutely did. Don't fucking yell at me either. Eight officers here for one guy with a First camera. Name audit. Yeah, that's right. What's High up? five. That's see, that's what I'm talking about. Dang. Oh, uh, what's your YouTube channel? I can't disclose that at the oh, moment. Because then they're gonna go look. Oh. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. We highlight a few clips of police interactions and police misconduct with some educational pointers to keep you educated and prepared for your next police encounter. My name is Police Encounters, and my goal is to help educate the public about your rights and how to handle police interactions. As an American citizen, we are given the rights that protect us, and it is the police's duties to protect those rights given to us by the Constitution that they swore an oath to. With that being said, the channels we will be covering today are The Real Press NH Now Norkel Cop Watch. Do be sure to check them out in the description below, because without them, there's no police encounters. And before we do get into our first video, go ahead and gently smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified. It is such a small and easy task for you, but it does help us out tremendously. With all that out the way, let's go ahead and cover our first clip. that I've seen come out. North Island Police of Fire, this call is recorded. How you doing? Uh, this is the waste water plant on Charles Street. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, we have we have uh, somebody like taking massive amount of photos and stuff like that sitting at our front gate, kind of not really sure what's going on with him. Yeah, we can if we could, down, uh, check it out. If we could, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. What was your name again? I, yeah, we'll send an officer right down there. All right, thank you. Not a problem. Call 309. Go ahead, 133 Park. Head down to the DLSD. 776. Point over there, what's a party at the gate, taking pictures of the property. Not sure what he's doing there. Trying to take a picture of me. Uh, Look at him driving in the grass. Uh, the staff there. They think Wire. they can do whatever what they want. Doing there? Four, the gate, the entrance gate, correct? Not the beginning. Leave them guessing. Yep. Yeah. 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 Block on the road.
Look at this parking job, guys. Five H Y D ten. Got it, good. Boom. What's your name and badge number? Hey, back away. Shut the fuck up. Back away. What's your name and badge number, please? You better calm down, buddy. You dropped your shit. You need to walk back. No, what's your name? You need to walk back. What's My name's name? Detective Gilligan. You don't get to sneak up on a cop like that. I didn't sneak up on anybody. You absolutely did. Don't fucking yell at me either. Take, I'm telling you right now, take a step back. Take a step back from what? I'm getting his name. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I do. You do? What's, what's, what's what your problem name? is that? What's your name? None of your fucking business. What are you That's doing what up my here on this is. property? None of your business. What's your name, sir? I need you to step back from this cruise. Don't fucking touch me, dude. I need you to step back. Don't, don't, don't touch, touch me. me. Fuck you, dude. You're the one who came into my spot. Do not go near this cruiser. Are you protecting the cruiser now? You're silly, dude. You're a joke. What's your name? I was just asking you your name. This one fucking flipped out. I don't have to tell you my name right now. What do you mean? What's your name? Chapter 41, section 98D. What is there, your fucking name? I'm not doing anything wrong. What is your name? You, you approached me. You approached me over here. I'm not interrogating. It doesn't matter. I asked you for your name. I'm not interrogating. You have every right to give me your name. Working under the course of your duties as a police officer. Give me your name, please. It's state law. 41, section 98D. What is your name? You want a complaint on you? I Follow do, the law, I sir. I need you to step back from this officer. No, I need his name. He's breaking the law right now. I, I need, need his you name. To step back from I this officer. I need his name. De-escalate, buddy. Back off. You want to, If you want to de-escalate, back off. You know Use your word. training. If you Use your training, word, buddy. Then just step away training. from the officer. No, Being I, around another officer. I need his right. name. Oh, really? Pick up your shit. Yeah. Look how clumsy you are, dude. Mike. Back off me, Mike. You know my name is Detective Gilligan. I'm not embarrassed to tell you. Yeah, well then tell your other officer tell my me what his name is. Have to tell you yes, anything. he does. State law but 41 section 98D listen, tells me that you have to by to law state your name and badge number when asked by the public. Give I'm me your right. name. Do not approach. I know like you're that. laughing, right? Do not approach like that. I right? just want his name. What, what you're doing is just trying to bait I don't everybody give a shit. here. I'm not baiting anybody. You're yeah. the one who fucking look at look at your parking job, dude. You're blocking the whole driveway. Really? For what? For what? Me filming? Really? They send a detective? How much do you get paid a year, dude? Waste of fucking money right now. It's a joke. This is what you signed up for, buddy. Filming. Public photography. First Amendment. Are you silly, dude? You done? Are you? Are you done now? You're a joke. They yeah. send you out here? Wow, nothing else out there to do, huh? How many unsolved cases are out there, detective? You're out here fucking around with me over a camera. Listen, we got a call. I don't give a shit. So Tell the reporting party I have every right to be out here then. You're wasting fucking money out here, bro. I have every right in the world. Can I have your name, badge number, please? Yeah, sure. Officer Wedge, not the PD. Badge Wedge. number 31. Thank you, sir. Anything else? Appreciate it. That's it, man. Can I have your name, badge number, please? Officer Pollard, 498. 498, Pollard? Yep. Yep. Appreciate it. We're gonna have to get out of the road though. Look at the. Are you serious? Yeah. No, don't tell me to get out of the road, yeah, buddy. The Look road. at these assholes blocking the road. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Detective Reardon. What is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Detective Reardon. Reardon? What's your badge number? 472. You a detective? Yes, sir. Thank you. That's it. See? See how easy that was? I wouldn't have said another word to you. Shoot, I told you my name as soon as you approached I don't know. I already know your name. You told me your name. Great. Look at this. One, two, three. Three offices. One, two, three. Four offices. <laughs> Get your Vin. Oh, cover's blown, detective. Honda Accord. Five, H, Y, D, ten. What a joke.
Sir, get out of the road. I don't want you to get hit. Don't come near me. Uh, I just want his name, that's oh, all. My safety. You're yeah, you're, you're fuck your safety, dude. No, what about my safety? Right. Fuck right. you, buddy. See you later. You dismissed number 30. Car number 309. Yeah, no shit, dude. Thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> the fucking detectives just figured that out. You guys are morons, dude. What a waste of time. Why don't you just call the reporting party and tell them I'm allowed to be where I am? No, you don't. No, you don't. You just have nothing better to do. That's where defending comes, uh, defunding comes in, buddy. Yep. yep, keep it up. Good job, buddy. See you later. I'll be here all day. Officer safety! Oh, officer fucking safety! See you later. Amazing parking jobs. Go ahead. Bye, sweetheart. Dismiss, fellas. Huh, incredible. Oh, they love when I sneak up on him, huh? Just trying to get his name. Unbelievable. What a piggy pie you guys just had, huh? Oh, no, we're just checking on you. Yeah, what's your name, badge number? Sergeant Davis. Davis, badge? Four, four, five. Awesome, man, professional, thank you. Anything we can do to help you? You a Sarge? What's that? You a sergeant? I'm the patrol supervisor. You are? Yeah. Why so many people for a... Camera man, come on, dude. Just Think check, smart. Just check, just checking out the situation. Really? Oh. They say I was on the property. Uh, they just wanted to know. Then why bother, right? Why you were taking pictures? That really? Did they find out? I'm not sure at this. No. <laughs> Waste of time, huh? Anything we can do for you? Nah, man. Okay. I'm good. Oh, it's too late, buddy. 6GC327. Oh, man. Pretty sad out here. Depends on what you got to say. If, it, if, if it's a directive to stay off the property, man, I don't want to hear it. I want to explain the situation. What's your name? I can't give you that. Okay. I'll listen to you. As I said, I'm Sergeant Davis. Yep. We were called down here. We were taking pictures. So the deal is, I just spoke to the director, uh, explained that you have every right to take pictures. However, Appreciate that. They explained to me that this prop, this is a private facility. I didn't see, well, it's public. There, it's this, public. It's just restricted. This road, yeah, goes down to that National Grid substation. Is their property? They are okay. asking that you be. Yeah, this is all public property, sir. The, it is public property. It's taxed by the by the city of of uh, Andover and Lawrence. The, but they're telling me this is a private road. Can't be. It, that's impossible. It's this a public facility that's property. restricted to public access. That's all it is. They're so. asking that you be moved down to the national grid area. No, sir. There's no trespassing signs, and this is public property. I have a right of way to be on this property. Right. As long as I'm not beyond that gate. Yep. I have every right to be here. It says no trespassing right there, sir. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll make some calls, see what I can find out. I'm yeah, I've already done my research. I did my GIS survey and everything, man. I do my. I don't come out to these places and not do my research. You, you, you're taking Just public interest. People want to know where their money's going. Okay. You know, and then you guys, and then you guys come, and then there's six of you, and there goes. We, we wouldn't have been here unless we got called. Well, maybe next time they'll, uh, they won't call you. Uh, and that's how this works. You know what I mean? Because they don't understand. They're going by feelings, man. Yeah. If I was over that fence. I don't yep. see why you wouldn't be here. Yeah. Actually, I'd want you to be here. Yeah. Faster than you already were. Right. Come on, man. Right. Think about it. You know, they got to do the same thing. Yeah. Nobody's on the property. There's no there's no security threat. Well, yeah, I'm going to work on what you're telling me and look into that, but you got to just do what you need to, man. Traffic flow. I'm not staying in the way, man. You can't impede anything. I know that. Okay. I already know the rules. Let's not give each other a hard time. Yeah, you detectives over there, man. What's up with that? Why you send a detective over here? No crimes out Everybody there? Was in the area. Come on. You know? But I'm gonna make some calls. I'll be with you. Yeah, you got a card? 
You have a bit. You have a business card. Yes. Appreciate it. Yeah, that detective man. I was just trying to get the other one's name, and he he needs to chill out. I don't know who he's been dealing with or what he's been dealing with, but he needs to take some take a chill pill. All right, Michael Davis. All right, your first name? I can't give you that, man. All right, I gotta make some calls. I'll be right with you. Yeah, who are you gonna call? I'm just gonna make my calls. <laughs> All right. So it looks like NH now is recording a wastewater plant, and one of the employees did not like that he was filming their building. This employee must not know that it's our constitutionally protected right to film in public. I guess many people like wasting resources. Then the gray undercover cop car and the patrol car block the road. I really don't think that's lawful. And what happens when an officer pulls up and you start recording their car? Yeah, they get pissed off for some reason. This detective said that NH now was sneaking up on his officer. So what you're telling me is that none of you saw that he was there. Meanwhile, you were the one recording him. Then he says, do not go by the cruiser. Um, he has every right to go next to it. It is in public. So therefore, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, why did a detective show up? He's not needed at all, especially for a man recording and expressing his First Amendment right. This is where us taxpayers' money go, to officers and detectives like this. Can you believe that? Now they're saying the road is private. I don't know that. It just doesn't make sense. But I know of a drive being private, like one of those really long driveways that seem like a road, but they're really not. Yeah, those can be private, but a road, no. A road is what us taxpayers pay for. All these officers here today mess with the wrong auditor. They got what they deserved, and that was an education. Soon as I walk up in a room, they started watching me. Hunters falling out my pockets like Monopoly. In my entourage, the killers all around me. Every one of them is ready. If anybody gets. Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Because at this point, we're going to call the police. Oh, no. Don't call the police. Now have crossed a line. You need to go downstairs. I've crossed a line? Yeah. What line have I crossed? Uh, a request. Is it, is it this imaginary yeah. fake line? Because look, I crossed it. No, it's a request to go downstairs and follow the process. You could have handed me the business card already. I could have been gone. No, you, you need to go downstairs and wait for the business card. So I need to go downstairs yeah. to wait for a business card. Did they answer? Yeah. They're on their way? Cool. Appreciate you. So you don't want to give me the business card so I could just leave? No, no she's not going to give you the business card. Hold on, I'm, spe I'm, sp I'm speaking to her. I'm, sp I'm speaking to her. I'm, I'm being really respectful. I'm being really respectful. And I'm being, I'm absolutely being respectful. We asked you to go downstairs and I'll come down here with you right now. I think it's really not very nice of you to have to pass through and expect to be serviced. All I asked was the business card of... But I'm already here. I'm already here. And I'm going to be following you. Okay? So. I don't understand what. You told me you will not leave without having a police escort. So I have complied with your request and I've called the police. So if you don't mind going downstairs, I will bring that to you. Okay. Okay? Because we have. I'm in the middle. I'm trying to get something done here. Yeah, and, and I only asked for a business card. I appreciate that. I yeah. appreciate that. But then you started with the call to the So that's why I asked for I didn't start anything. She, she came over here and was, was throwing a fit that I was not following protocol. All right, guys, so we are live. Yeah, just the city manager, if you can. Basically, whoever's in charge here. You're not giving it to me? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. So, so you just told her to not give me the business card? You're going to go downstairs and wait for it. I'm going to stand right here. Welcome to until the officers come this way. All right. Marcella? Yes. Feel free to step away if you like. Okay. You don't have to put up with this. That's why I'm in the middle of working and she's interrupting yeah. my work process. She just said I'm interrupting her work process. Dude, you guys, this is crazy. This is crazy, you guys. Here's the police. How are you doing, sir? What's happening? Hello. Hello. How are you? Are you good. Good. Um, this gentleman um, came through security downstairs, yeah. came up here. 
who was asked to return back down to the lobby has refused to. Okay. Okay. And you guys want him out? And we want him out. Yeah. Okay. We, he's we'll walk he, with you down. Yeah. Thank you. You want to go the air? Do I have? Do I have to leave? Yeah, they want you out. So we're just. I have to leave. Yes. For what reason? Because they don't want you in this area. They're refusing you to be here, so they want you out. So you're going to just escort you out, make it easy. Call your supervisor. Call. This is a public building. Not up in certain areas, though. They don't allow certain things. Not allow in a certain area. It's like a business. You know, you go to like McDonald's or something, and you're getting food. And they That's say, private. With you, it's not private. McDonald's is a private business. Negative. It's a it's a public area. Can I get but your name and badge number? Yeah, Trochi. Trochi. As I explained, it's like a, it's yeah. a courthouse. It's a public building. It's not right. like a courthouse. Yeah, it has to be metal detector. This is actually City Hall. This is a public building. So he's aware that um, he's aware that there's security protocols for coming into the building. He's ignored them. Just come upstairs, and he won't leave. Gotcha. Thank you. Can you get your name and badge number? Officer Whites, W H I T E S. Whites with the S. Yes. Thank you, Whites. And your name and badge number? Officer Wu. Officer Wu. Three forty-eight. Three forty-eight. Thanks. Why are you here? If you don't mind us asking. I'm just conducting some business. Okay. With who? With wherever, whoever. Who are you trying to see? Uh, all the floors. All the floors, okay. Yeah, so I've been to two already. So you understand that I, we don't even have access if there's no... I've already gotten paper. multiple business cards for everywhere I've gone, okay. and I was trying to get one more here, and, uh, they, and they denied they service. They yeah, and I told them, I told them if they would, I said if they would give me the business card, I could leave. Oh, okay. It's the city, it's the city manager. Yeah. City manager's business card? Yeah, it's right there. And so so he, he refused to give it to me. This guy, he said, no, well, we're you not. Got, you got to understand, listen, just between me, they, they, you get to a certain level, they pass the security, they ask you not to go, you go. So if you're breaking their rules, why would they want to appease you and give you what you want? You know what I mean? If you want to do what they want, they give you what you want. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, so I was trying to explain to them that, oh, whoa, we got backup. Oh, my God. I'm a supervisor. Awesome. You want to talk here? Uh, I'm, I'm fine right here. Okay. Yeah. My name's George. My hand's a little sweaty. Hold on. That's okay. How's it going? What's okay. your name? Sergeant Augustine. Augustine? Yes. Okay, so yeah, I was trying to explain to these people that this is a public building. I'm just here walking around, taking some photos and video, trying to get some business cards for the people I need to speak with. And then this guy automatically gave me resistance. She gave me resistance. She called the police. Which parts of the building are trying to get to? Well, I, so I just got the last business card there thanks are, to... Do you agree that there are some parts of the building that you don't have access to? Just employees only? Well, I, I have no idea about that. I just walked in, the doors were open. It's a public building, so... Okay. Yeah. So, this building, this floor. Did you, did you have access to the front of the building? How'd you get in? Uh, I went right up the elevator, and then this door was uh, wide open. So, which parts of the building do you want to have access to? This was my last stop. Okay. I've already been been through all the floors. I got the business cards I needed, but then they called you guys. Okay. But so like I told them, I said you shouldn't call the police unless there's a crime being committed, because I'm not committing a crime. You can understand that a lot of people are hyper vigilant nowadays. Mm -hmm. With protests that are going on with distrust of government there's a lot of people trying that's to why i'm here we've had that's why i'm an here intrusion at distrust our of government. police department where somebody jumped over the fence mm -hmm. and they tried to make it into the building mm -hmm. we've had people come down into the parking garage and break into cars mm -hmm. so but none of that has anything to do with me until we figure out who you are what you're all about well you have no you right to know who i am unless i'm committing a crime well, I'm just or you suspect me of committing a crime. Like downstairs, they wanted me to sign in and give my personal information. That's a violation of my Fourth Amendment. That's what I won't be doing. Okay. Is there any more business that you have at the Hayward? No, I'm going to continue to walk around this public lobby out here, take a look around, f finish my project that I'm working on, so and then I'm favor, leaving. Though, there are a lot of employees. We're sworn, so we're public servants. You can record us all day. I know that. But there are folks back here in the back office. They don't want to be on camera. They don't give you permission. Well, as long as the door is open and it's a public office, I'm allowed to be in there. Let us define, let's make sure that the building is open to the public. And if there's no restrictions and they're able to be in public areas, okay. Yeah. But can we find out if there are So we got, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight officers here for one guy with a First camera. First audit. Yeah, that's right. What's High up? five. That's, see, that's what I'm talking about. Dang. Oh, uh, what's your YouTube channel? I can't disclose that at the oh, moment. Okay. Cause then they're gonna go look. Oh. Yeah. They probably already know me, anyways. That's okay. It's too late for that. You're a public servant. 
you're a public officer. See, I could do this. Sir, it's not okay. Come on, man. It, no, it's it, come on, man. It, sir. It, totally, it's, it's totally okay. Listen, sir. sir, please it's, don't do that. It's totally okay. Do you not do that. No, no one's touching you. I just want to. No, no one's touching you. I just want to make my presence known to you. You made the employees. She said she doesn't want you recording her. And that's fine. However, you take your camera. You're not feeling enforcement. You're not feeling enforcement. You hoist it above and you start recording folks. Look at look at guys. They're surrounding me. They want to arrest me. They want to arrest me for not committing a crime. Look at his face. Zhang? What's your name? Zhang? Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's ready to put me in handcuffs. But yeah, like I said, I'm not committing a crime. Okay. So if you guys put what your hands on me, you have with the Hayward Police Department, uh, the city I'm, of Hayward today. Like, like that woman just said, I'm conducting a First Amendment audit, which is a constitutionally protected she also activity. She told you that Wh she didn't want to be filmed. Okay, don't interrupt me. Let me speak. I'm conducting a First Amendment audit, which is a constitutionally protected activity, sure. which you swore an oath to protect. So therefore, you're not here to protect their feelings. You're here to protect my rights. She's an employee for the city of Hayward. She is non-sworn. Yeah. I am a public servant. He's a public servant. He's a public servant. Okay, so. He can be recorded. She tells you directly, I don't want to be recorded. He does not care at all. So he doesn't care about us. And we're not going to fall for any of his traps either. We're not going to fall for the traps. It's all set up. Yeah, I guess he just wants to bait us in. We're going to follow policy and procedure in the law. And what's your policy? You can look it up if you want to know. I'm not going to cite you. Uh, I, I, know that because I do. This is all bait for you. Should no. This is you just no, I was here trying to conduct my business. I was rudely interrupted, and then they called the police. You're, you're getting the attention you guys, that you want. You guys can you're leave. You guys can leave. Here. You guys can leave. No, you're not sir, wanted here. You're, you no. said you were done with your business here. Um, I said I'm going to continue up. walking around, taking my last little photos and video, and then I'm going to leave the building. His favorite thing, these auditors, they want to record us. They want us to bait us. They want us to put their hands on them. They want to get fodder for their camera. They want clicks. They want content. I don't want any of that. You don't need any of that stuff. I don't want any of that. These employees are just working hard. Why would you do that to them? Yeah. I don't Why want to take your camera and record them. First of all, you're, you're not part of one of content. your things in your policy is your to content. respect the public. I'm, I'm the you're assuming you what I'm here to do here. for. So you are I'm obviously in violation of your policy. To arrest you so you can sue I don't me. I don't want any of that. You you, you want you want I do not. To do something weird. No, I want transparency and accountability. So am I. These people are innocent. So am I. If you're doing your audit, do your audit. Thank but you. Please do not. You guys are dismissed. Employees. You guys are dismissed. Go away. You guys are done. You don't need to babysit me. I don't need a babysitter. You're free to go. We're not, we're not gonna leave. He we're just said we're not free. We work here. I'm gonna stay here all day. We're at work. He said he's gonna stay here all day, you guys. No problem. This is work, crazy. So you guys gonna follow me around? Babysit me or what? Maybe. All right. Well, make sure you guys use protection, okay? All right. So I'm just going to take a look here. Go I'm not going anywhere, but right here. You can close your blinds, you sir. Use those words. Try to bait us into something, sir. Close your blinds. Close your blinds. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is crazy. Okay, you guys can can go away now. I didn't get your name, badge number. What's your name, badge number? Name and badge number 1036.3 of your policies to identify to the public when they All ask you. My name is mine. My name is Sergeant Augustine, batch number four. Do you have a business card? And I know that's part of your policy. When a member of the public asks for it, you're supposed to present it. So, do you have you're, a business card? You're assuming that our budget extends to us having business cards all the time. No, remember who was it that said I know the, the policy? This guy did. He's absolutely correct. I so do. You're, you're assuming that our budget. So this right guy doesn't now, want to identify. The city of Hayward to have business cards. This guy does not want to identify. I don't understand what the issue is. Everyone else did so far. Everyone else was so cordial and nice to me. Cards. No, I didn't, I didn't ask you for a business card. I asked you for your name and your badge number. You're baiting him, too. I'm asking for his name and badge number. Do you not respect the public? You use words and actions to, to, to evoke something from him. You're okay. trying to get us to do something that we're not going to do. This is the you're not case. going to do we're something not you're not going to do. You. We're not going to violate your I asked him t for his name and his badge we're number. Can I get your name and badge number, please? We're asking you to leave. I don't need to leave. Davis 463. Davis 463. Thank you so much. Davis 463, thank you so much. There's no other public areas on this floor for you. Why are you walking sir? up into my area? Why did you just do that? Okay, I'm going around you, so. You can't go that way, sir. I can't, I can't go this way. Nope. I can't go this way. No. <laughs>
this looks like to me like it's a public hallway. It's not. It's for staff and employees on the fourth floor. God, you guys, man. I wish you guys knew your job way better. And I hope you get the content that you want, but you're not going to get it from us. Oh, I got it. You think so? I got it. You think so? So, so this is a public hallway. Where it says this is a public hallway, and they won't look at They blocked me. This guy just walked up within a foot of me trying to run into me on purpose. So I hope you get to check back, because when you came in, it says sign as a guest. So I hope you get to see that. Mm -hmm. No, I saw that. I saw that. Okay, so yeah. why are you saying that's freedom? That is public, yeah, right? I have this thing called freedom. Everyone has it here in America. I don't need to sign in. Yeah. But there's rules when you come to it. Did you get rules one? don't trump my rights. Okay. Do they? This is a public building, but there are areas where you don't have access to. You are not authorized personnel. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that I don't have access to this part right here? You're in this area. You're near the lobby. You're next to the elevator. So do I have access to this area? For yes. Now, yes or no? Okay. So that means I have access to this hallway. Augustine. Augustine or August. Augustine or Augustine. 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 So if I have access to this area, I'm just going to educate you real quick. Just hear me out. You're not going to give. You don't. You don't have the right to give me access. Well, actually, I will tell you. In order to come to this floor, you need an appointment. In well, order. I don't have an appointment. I'm already because here. you never asked. I'm already here. So if, if you're saying that I need to leave, you could tell them to escort me out. But they would have to use force to escort me out of a public building. They could try to trespass me, but I can't be trespassed from a public place. And that's the look right there of defeat. All right, so one more time. Can I go down this hallway? Yes or no? You have an appointment? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Hey, you guys want to smile for the thumbnail? All right, let me get these are guys. Are you willing to sign in downstairs, sir? Excuse me. Why are you blocking me? I'm asking if you're willing to sign in. Why are you, you why, are you, why are you blocking me? You're not going to go down that hallway. No, I just want to get these guys real quick. Smile for the thumbnail? You guys know what a thumbnail is? It's the, the picture on the video that people are going to see. That's why they're going to click. No, I, I just want to get these guys real quick. Smile for the thumbnail. You guys know what a thumbnail is? It's the, the picture on the video that people are going to see. That's why they're going to click. He wants the meanest, most aggressive looking photo. So he gets lots and lots of on his YouTube channel. So once again, this guy has no respect for a member of the public. He's assuming what I'm here to do. And, and, I, and I explained well, to you politely you why I'm here. Sir? Because you're not following the rules how we're saying. How about reporting the employees that ask not to be reported? Exactly. So you're assuming that you could come in without no permission. I know that these tyrants, these people who are abusing their authority, are trying to trump and step all over my rights, which they are sworn to protect. What about the rights of the people that work in this building? They don't have rights that I have being a free citizen, not working for the city. I think constitutional rights apply to you. Exactly. They apply to me. Not while they're on the clock. Okay, so I don't want any of you guys getting on the elevator with me because I don't feel safe. Okay? So you guys can stay here. You guys can keep wasting tax dollars. Look at all those cops. They're here for me. <laughs> she was scared. What the fuck? See her face? Have a good day. Sorry, guys. Nope. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Here we go. You guys should learn your job. Look, she just slammed. She just slammed something down. <laughs> Walk of shame. Look at this, you guys. This is Hayward Police Department. I mean, it's obvious. All they had to do was give Norco Copwatch their business card, and he would have left. He did say that, but I guess they wanted to make the situation harder than it had to be. Three cops for one man recording. How ridiculous. They're telling him he has to leave. For what? No reason at all. Other than recording in a public building? That's total bullshit.
So Norco pretty much walked the whole building and got some business cards. But this room that he entered, they did not like him filming. Although a lady with a cool hat came by saying, hey, First Amendment audit, and gave him a high five. Anywho, one of the public servants did not want to be recorded and made it clear. But little do they know, as well as the officers know, that as long as you're in public, Norco has every right to film you no matter what you say. Now this sergeant obviously doesn't know how the Constitution works or any of the laws. What it seems like to me is all these officers don't care about the oath that they swore. Again, they're asking him to leave. And again, he does not have to leave. If Norco didn't have access to any part of the building, then there should be signs saying employees only, or do not go beyond this point. Like, come on, it's common sense. But really, this many cops for someone recording is absolutely ridiculous. At least they all took their walk of shame, because they definitely deserve that. That's going to be it for today's video. If you have a video you'd like us to review, please leave a message in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Be sure to check out the channels we watched today out. Give them a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Police Encounters.